head coach for Roger City. We got Pat Lamb. Pat, how many guys you got here at Jeff Jordan's right now? I've got nine here this year. Um, you know, we come down here every year. I believe this is our 12th year in a row that we've come down here. So, uh, you know, I I used to go to a different camp every year all over the country. And, uh, you know, one thing I found about Jeff's camp is that uh, my guys either improve or they quit, one or the other, after we're done with the camp. And, uh, you know, it's 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 great camp because it's all about wrestling. It's not no, not any country club. You know, you don't play any games. All you're doing is uh, wrestling three times a day and, and hardcore wrestling. And you know, that's what we want. That's what we strive to get our kids to do uh, in our program. So that's why we we come back here every year. Do you notice the difference between your athletes that do and do not come to Jeff Jordan State Champ Camp? Oh, definitely. You know, because we teach a lot of the same technique that we uh, we learn here at camp. You know, obviously we add add more to it that uh, fits our program, but. Uh, you know, it just takes them a little while to catch up to the drilling and everything uh, when they don't come to camp. So, Okay, you said you're 50 miles south of the Mackinac Bridge. Right. You guys are up there. Right. That's a huge state for a lot of people who aren't who are geographically challenged. Uh, is there a lot of driving involved for you guys to go and find competition? Well, let's, let's put it this way. Two years ago, uh, I had a senior-laden team, and one of our parents put together a, uh, a map of how far we traveled. It was 4,852 miles in one wrestling season. And that was within the state? That was within the state of Michigan, correct. We go everywhere from Marquette, then down to the Palace, down to Grand Rapids area, Flint area. We uh, we travel all over. What's the most important thing to you about your uh, wrestlers wrestling in the summer? Uh, the most important thing about wrestling in the summer is coming and having fun and, and learning good, solid technique and doing things the right way and uh, being able to enjoy yourself while you're doing it and uh, just keeping that ultimate goal in mind of uh, being a state champion. Okay, can you show everybody real quick on your, your makeshift Michigan hand where Roger City is real quick? Right there. All right, all right. Uh, what's the most, uh, what would you say the, the biggest leap forward the state of Michigan has made in wrestling? Well, I think the biggest leap that the state of Michigan has made is that we're now getting a lot of, a lot of young men in international competition and national competition, and, and we're starting to to uh, thrive on a little bit, and we're we're actually making gains. I think uh, with Ohio and uh, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and uh, you know I think that uh, you know the state of high school wrestling overall in the country is, is really improving and really getting better. So uh, you know I think the sky's the limit for what we can accomplish. Do you think the guys, you know, starting with the Cunningham brothers, not starting with them, obviously you could look back all the way back to Mark Torello Sr. But do you think that? The chain of guys that they've had in the NCAA Finals, NCAA Champions, Roger Kish, obviously Brent Metcalf, Paul John Donahoe. Reader, yeah, yeah um, all these guys. Do you think that they have kind of set the tone and shown the kids what they need to go and do to right. get there? I, well, I think that's it. You know, when when you got a guy like Brett Metcalf that grew up in Michigan and everybody knows his accomplishments and everybody sees what he's been able to accomplish in the sport of wrestling, you know, and, and everybody, every little kid in, in high school or in, in wrestling, in Michigan knows Brett Metcalf and what he's done to get to where he's at. So they all want to emulate that and, and do some of the same thing that, that he's done to get to where he's at right now. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, any camps that you go to now, um, you know, the youth the youth wrestling in Michigan is really taken off. With my way. Right. My way, MMWA, uh, NEMWA up north. I mean, there's, uh, there's, there's three solid leagues right there for youth wrestlers. And, you know, it seems like every time that I go to a camp, the wrestlers are getting younger and younger and younger all the time. And, uh, you know, just the interest in it is, is just phenomenal. And, uh, you know, it's a great thing for our sport. Coach Lamb, I think you summed up Michigan, man. I, I like talking to people who are excited about wrestling. But I want you to get back into that nice, cool room there with that <laughs> wrestling and enjoy the rest of it. Well, thanks for the time, Coach. Well, thank you very much, Seth.